Okay, more on compost, because it just keeps coming to me. If you have a stinky compost pile, it usually means it needs more carbon, more of the brown stuff, okay? Um, so here we go, this is just, ooh, that's hot. Just food scraps, which is gonna create a really good environment for the rats and the mice to come in, okay? Um, I guess I wanna share with you, what are weird things you put in your compost? Your vacuum bag stuff. Okay, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here that is not compostable, like Legos. <laughs> That's okay, we'll find them later. But what is compostable is hair, dust, dirt, food, you know, crumbs, okay? All of this stuff right here, I'm not gonna do the bag, because going to be a layer of, what should I call it, yeah, baking soda, do I see anything else, marbles, yeah, that's great stuff. Really just think of it as you're adding to, um, you're making your own archaeological site, that when they come back a hundred years from now, the aliens will look at our backyard and be like, oh, this is how they live, what are these little plastic things, what are these little round things? So I'm gonna add this compost that is half broken down. I'm adding this half broken compost to the fresh pile and that is an excellent way you can use your not breaking down stuff. Um, to help speed up a new pile as you use the old stuff. It's already been inoculated with your mycelium and your healthy bacteria so it can kind of get going faster. to mention which is uh, coffee grounds yes go to your local coffee place and get them or have your sister bring them to you yeah this stuff's awesome um, put it in your freezer if you don't have use for it right away because yeah it'll go moldy and nasty um, because this stuff is hot this is nitrogen right here powdered nitrogen Okay, a common, um, common question people have is how much do you water, how often do you water it? And it's more of a consistency. You want it to be the texture and moistness of a wrung out sponge. Um, and then I did say even in the winter time you need to water your compost a bit. Um, and you'll know you need to add water if you can get into it. If it's frozen like a block, no. It, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait for it to thaw out, turn it, add water, then it'll start to heat up again. So I am adding water here until it starts to come out the bottom pretty heavy, and until I feel like all the corners are wet, and then I'm gonna spin it and let it do its magic. <laughs> 